In the vast expanse of human knowledge and spiritual exploration, few ideas challenge the status quo as boldly as those of Ken Wilber and his integral spirituality. As we embark on this journey together, I invite you to open your mind and heart to the possibilities that lie beyond the familiar horizons of your own beliefs and experiences. Welcome, dear friends, to our exploration of the depths of consciousness through the lens of Ken Wilber's integral spirituality. Ken Wilber, often regarded as one of the most comprehensive philosophical thinkers of our time, has made it his life's work to create a map of the human experience that encompasses the wisdom of both the East and the West, science and spirituality, and the myriad paths that lead us towards understanding the nature of reality and our place within it. Integral Theory, the cornerstone of Wilbur's work, proposes a framework that seeks to integrate all human knowledge and experience into a coherent whole, a theory of everything that offers profound insights into the nature of existence and our journey through it. At the heart of integral theory is the EQL framework, which stands for all quadrants, all levels. This model suggests that reality can be viewed through four main quadrants, the interior individual, the exterior individual, the interior collective, and the exterior collective. Each of these quadrants offers a unique perspective on our world and ourselves, providing a comprehensive approach to understanding the many facets of reality. By embracing this holistic view, we can begin to see the interconnectedness of all things and the importance of integrating diverse perspectives for a fuller understanding of the truth. Integral spirituality, then, extends this model into the realm of the spiritual, positing that the spectrum of consciousness encompasses a vast array of states and stages through which individuals can evolve. From the pre-personal stages of early human development to the personal ego and beyond, into the transpersonal realms of enlightenment and unity consciousness, Wilbur's work illuminates the path of human spiritual evolution inviting us to transcend our current limitations and awaken to our highest potentials. This journey is not merely theoretical. It has practical implications for how we live our lives and engage with the world. By integrating science and spirituality, Wilbur bridges the gap between these often opposed ways of knowing, arguing that neither can be fully understood without the other. Science provides us with a powerful method for investigating the material world, while spirituality offers insights into the inner dimensions of consciousness and meaning. Together, they form a more complete picture of reality, one that honors the complexity and depth of human experience. The four quadrants of integral theory further expand this understanding offering a lens through which we can view the various aspects of our lives and the world around us. From the interior experiences of thoughts and emotions to the exterior realities of social structures and physical environments, this framework encourages us to consider all angles and perspectives, fostering a more inclusive and empathetic approach to addressing the challenges we face. Integral spirituality also emphasizes the importance of developmental stages of consciousness, suggesting that each stage offers a unique worldview and set of values. As individuals and societies evolve, they move through these stages, each transition offering opportunities for growth and greater understanding. By recognizing where we are on this journey, we can better navigate the challenges and opportunities that arise moving towards more holistic and inclusive perspectives. Integral psychotherapy and shadow work play a crucial role in this process, addressing the parts of ourselves that we have disowned or neglected. By integrating these shadow aspects, we can heal the wounds of our past and move towards a more authentic and whole expression of our being. This work is essential for personal transformation 
and the cultivation of a deeper, more meaningful spiritual life. Integral spirituality is not limited to any one tradition or practice. Instead, it embraces the wisdom of all the world's spiritual paths, encouraging us to find the practices and teachings that resonate most deeply with us. This inclusive approach recognizes the value of diversity in our spiritual explorations, affirming that there are many paths to the summit of spiritual awakening. Despite its comprehensive vision, integral theory and integral spirituality are not without their critics. Some argue that the theory is too complex or abstract, while others question its applicability to real-world problems. Yet, these critiques offer valuable opportunities for dialogue and refinement, challenging us to deepen our understanding and application of these ideas. Integral spirituality in action can be seen in various fields, from education and business to healthcare and social activism. By applying the principles of integral theory, individuals and organizations are finding innovative ways to address complex problems, foster more meaningful connections, and create positive change in the world. The role of community and culture in integral spirituality cannot be overstated. We are not isolated beings. Our lives are deeply interconnected with those around us and the environments we inhabit. By fostering a sense of belonging and mutual respect, we can create communities that support the growth and development of all their members, reflecting the integral vision of unity in diversity. As we look to the future of spirituality, integral theory offers a hopeful and expansive vision. It suggests that as humanity continues to evolve, our spiritual practices and understandings will also deepen and diversify, leading us towards greater harmony with ourselves, each other, and the planet. This journey is not without its challenges, but the potential for transformation and awakening is immense. As we reflect on our own spiritual journeys, integral spirituality invites us to consider how we might integrate these principles into our lives. How can we embrace a more holistic view of reality? How can we engage with diverse perspectives and practices in a way that enriches our understanding and experience of the spiritual? These questions are not meant to have simple answers. Rather, they invite us into a deeper exploration of what it means to be fully human and fully alive. In closing, I invite you to ponder the role of integral spirituality in our world today. How can these ideas and practices contribute to addressing the pressing issues of our time, from social injustice to environmental degradation? How can we, as individuals and communities, embody the integral vision in our thoughts, actions, and relationships? These are challenging questions, but they are also invitations to participate in the co-creation of a more just, compassionate, and sustainable world. Thank you, dear friends, for joining me on this journey through the depths of consciousness and the expansive landscape of integral spirituality. May the insights and reflections we have shared inspire you to explore further, to question deeply, and to open your heart to the transformative potential of this integral vision. Until we meet again, may your path be guided by wisdom, compassion, and a boundless curiosity for the mystery and beauty of life. Farewell, and may your journey be rich with discovery and growth.